Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Fessel and Kunza live on Ramadan FM. So we have with us on the line a very special guest. Um, he joins us um, internationally, in fact, all the way from Canada, I believe. It is none other than Nasheed artist Saeed. Assalamu alaikum, Saeed. Wa alaikum salam. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. How are you? A gig, alhamdulillah. It's a, a pleasure to be here with you guys. I'm um, pretty much here all the way in uh, Thunder Bay, Canada. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Thunder Bay. <laughs> Even people in Canada haven't know. heard of Thunder Bay, so, so don't worry, you're not, you won't be alone. <laughs> okay, great. Mm -hmm. So let's start with you then. Let's, let's put the spotlight mm -hmm. on you here. Um, what, uh, so how did you get into the Nasheed industry? Um, well, I mean... I guess it's it, it pretty much. Uh, I mean, I grew up in um, in a city in the GTA, so in the Toronto area. It's called uh, Mississauga. So pretty much, I grew all my life there. And uh, we, in about two thousand eight, we moved to uh, Thunder Bay over here. So out of the blue, you know, family decided, you know what, it's it's uh, we're moving. So we moved to Thunder Bay. And over here, I got into uh, like I guess in, in high school. When you start high school here, you have to. Um, so I registered. Well, you have to sign up for some music classes. So I signed up for vocals and I signed up for a guitar class. And over and at that time, so it kind of like I started getting into um, songwriting. I started getting into production. And once I got my hands on some like, I found out that you can literally make music from your computer. Right? Just you don't need a massive studio. You don't need you know a record label behind you. You know, I was about probably 14 or 15 at that time so once once i um once i saw just started just you know just going forward and and about in 2016 so from about 2008 to 2016 i was just kind of at home just kind of working on working on it developing kind of the skill i i was just doing it as a hobby at that time though and yeah so now um you know after i guess about 10 years uh in it you know i've kind of uh, developed the skills and stuff to be able to do uh, pretty much everything myself. So you're basically a self-starter then? That's that's what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, I, I've always, like, I've always loved music. Like, I mean, I mean, even, like, when we were younger, I remember growing up, you know, my, my mom, uh, you know, she would have cassettes of, like, you know, because obviously, you know, I mean, I'm, I ain't that old, but, I mean, <laughs> we used to, you know, a lot of these, these, young, these I guess, even younger kids, uh, you know, they don't know about the cassettes and all of that sort of stuff. So I remember my mom used to be playing, uh, you know, uh, by Yusuf Islam, uh, Zayn Bika, Dawood Warnsby, you know, so all around the house, you know, we used to be listening, uh, you know, we used to be listening to that stuff. And so w I guess we grew up with Islamic music. And of course, like um, there used to be a conference in Toronto where we used to go every single year. Um, and it was it used to call, uh, be called Reviving the Islamic Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so over there, uh, Sam Yusuf used to come. I remember uh, Maher Zayn used to come, Native Dean at that time, Rayhan, all of these, uh, you know, these, uh, these Nasheed artists, I guess you would say, were Islamic musicians. And so from a young age, I remember that was one of like the highlights of that event for us, right, as, as kids. And, and th yeah, I guess that all of those things that kind of really inspired me to, uh, to want to do something and kind of my own take to, to it you know because everybody has a certain like a certain take uh, in you know in islamic music because obviously at the end of the day it's art right and and everybody sees it differently so i just wanted to put something out that i feel like uh, you know that it's from me you know so yeah and in fact one of a one of a special feature i guess unique feature of your of your nasheeds is that they're actually instrument free but you can't really tell when you're listening to them that they are instrument yeah. free. So how did you manage to do that <laughs> honestly that was tough so like uh I mean, in 2016, like, I mean, th like that year, because I, I, like I said, I've been doing it like behind the scenes in 2008. I had never released anything. So it would just be like, I'd be showing my mom or my dad or my family or like, I wouldn't even show friends because I was just so like, I was just, I, I was just so kind of afraid to make that leap, you know, to even start. Because, and I think a lot of musicians, artists and anything, you know, once they're starting something, um, out of kind of the norm a bit like for me like i'm i'm a gra like i graduated from mechanical engineering so i mean that's probably like the most driest program you could probably get into right but like nobody would expect you know me to be singing on 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 stage or you know on, on youtube so that was at that point you know i was like about in my second year or first year of university and i'm just like you know what i don't care i'm just gonna do it and i like i remember i made a i made a, an account on instagram it was called site official the one that i use right now and i made sure that none of my friends know that i'm going by this name right so you said no but nobody knew and then uh i just started releasing 
uh, releasing on there. And yeah, and so, it, yeah, so it's, it's pretty much like, uh, it kind of just went from there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's a lot more than just singing you do, isn't it? It's production, it's it's the whole the whole piece, is it? Do you yeah, also yeah. the video as well? Yeah, so, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, I, I did, I, 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 got off tangent I, I and i forgot to answer your point so about the acapella production so uh, with with the acapella production so yeah so i the reason i wanted to make it a bit more of a produced sound is like initially like i did i had made like some sounds you know which i mean of course there were elements of like which sound a bit more produced but even like in i need you i think it's a bit more vocal than than right now uh, like the sound wise but everything all the sounds are made just by my voice and hands. Um, but I just try to filter it in the back. Like I just try to keep everything in the back. So the ah, uh, ah, uh, ahs and you know, the oohs and all of that don't distract the person from the lyrics. Cause for me, like the main thing is always the lyrics, you know, it's like, that's, I feel like I, like that's what my audience connects with me on. It's like, um, you know, I, and I just want to make sure I get that across. And sometimes, you know, that backing, if it's too loud or if it's too pronounced, um, I feel like it can take away from the acapella. So I would like work literally like all night just trying to figure out how am I going to do this? Because I mean, in high school, you know, obviously I, you know, I, I, I took guitar lessons and with a guitar, you can just pick it up and, you know, you can just start singing, but with, but I really wanted to do acapella because uh, I feel like I was providing more of a service to people, but yeah, it, it was, it was definitely tough, but it took time and, and I was able to figure it out. So let's talk about your probably your most popular song, Back to You. Um, because I was listening to the lyrics and, and the whole production, and I just found it amazing what you've done with that one track. Uh, mm. I mean, there's so much meaning in that one song. For example, the lyric the lyri lyrics are relatable. Mm. Um, it's instrument free, which we just discussed. Um, and then also the chorus really stood out for me because the chorus itself is a duwa, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, I guess yeah, there's kind of a, you could say a bit a bit of a story behind that song. So um. I, I remember I was listening to a lecture by uh, Imam Omar Suleiman, right? So, uh, um, so yeah, so in that lecture, he was mentioning this dua, and he was, you know, he, this dua, which was, Allahumma inni asaluka al-huda wa tuqa wa al-afafa wa al-ghina. And he was like, he was, he was mentioning how this is like one of the most comprehensive duas that the Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us. And it was just such a beautiful dua, you know, uh, once I learned the meaning. And I really wanted to memorize it. So in my room, I just kind of, I had a bit of like a bulletin board, so I just printed that dua out, just stuck it on the board so I can just memorize it because sometimes I'll walk in the room, I'll quickly read something, and then I'll just memorize the dua that way. And so I had it up, but I was I just happened to be working, I guess, a few months or maybe maybe even like six months later, I was just working in, in the room just trying to make something new. And then I had somewhat of a backing, somewhat, you know, so and then I kind of just glanced over the wall, I'm like, because I wasn't able to come up with any ideas at that point. So I'm just like, I looked at the wall, I'm like, hmm, let me, let me try that. <laughs> and then, so I just uh, tried that dwell. And then, um, and then it start the song literally, like I just kind of freestyled it. And I came up right away in the, almost, I think the first take, because I haven't had peace in so long and I couldn't seem to go on. And then I was mumbling, no, 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 no. And I will never endeavor. And it was kind of like that. And then I'm like, Allahumma inni asalu. You know, so that, then that dua kind of just came in and I, I listened to it back. I'm like, I'm like, maybe this could be something, inshallah, you know? And I showed it to some family members. They're like, Oh my God, you have to do this. And then, um, and then I, I really sat down and, and actually that song was, I took a break from it for about a whole, I think year and a half because I couldn't come up with the right lyrics I felt would fit with it. And, and even the bridge and everything that came later. So about a year later, since I had the idea, then I, I got a chance to finally, uh, alhamdulillah, complete it and release it. But so yeah, but yeah. Know. Because yeah. like I I know that the war now um, just from mm. listening to the song over and over again. Was that your intention to kind of um, get it in people's heads as well? Yeah, no, definitely. Alhamdulillah. Like that's you know that's something like I mean at the end of the day, you know, in this life, you know, we always want to leave some sort of like a a sadaka jaria, right? So you know, a deed that you know that can always you know you can always gain something even when you when you leave this world. And for me, I felt like you know, inshallah, that you know that if Allah accepts that, you know, maybe one of these was that you know these little kids and you know even adults are learning you know um i you know i pray that it, i can be a part of that deed you know and uh and you know just uh yeah gain so hopefully some blessings from that yes yeah. so the next question we actually had that we wanted um to ask you is so how are you with live singing then would you like to 
give us a taster of something you're working on, <laughs> anything really so you can listen yeah. to you. Um, so actually, I'll be performing. Uh, I, I usually perform. Uh, I guess I do a lot. Uh, like every every year, we have this like night of vocals tour. So I do a lot of performances throughout the year. Of course, with with COVID, uh, with this whole COVID situation, it's just been you know from home. So this whole like concept of like virtual performances, you know, uh, initially I was hesitant for them, so I didn't do them. We would decline pretty much all of it because I I don't know. I just felt like. I, I did because it's always about you know I want to connect with the audience right but if I just see myself on a screen it's just awkward you know, singing to myself so but <laughs> over I guess since like March or April uh, then I'm just like I just I we just kept getting so many emails uh, you know uh, and then so in, you know so I'm just like you know what let me just try it you know so and then I I tried it and you know people enjoyed it so the fans enjoyed it so I'm just like okay as long as people are benefiting from it and of course you know people are stuck at home so at least there's some sort of you know uh, hopefully entertainment, you know, that, uh, or uh, joy that I can bring to them. But yeah, so in, inshallah, I mean, right now, I, I, uh, since I'm, fa I'm fasting right now, it yeah, probably would be a good, good idea to, <laughs> to, to catch my voice. <laughs> we've had some nice messages come through. Um, we've had one um, from somebody called uh, Shazad, or Shazid, who says, my father passed away in November 2020, so I was struggling so much, but Said's songs really helped me out with the struggles that I was going through. And Alhamdulillah, I love you for the sake of Allah. And he's from Bangladesh, actually. Uh, may Allah make it easy for you. Uh, and, uh, you know, and honestly, it's these type of, uh, I guess, uh, these type of like comments and, you know, and, and, uh, and feedback from people, you know, sometimes when, you know, every artist, you know, as an artist, you get into a slump and sometimes you're like, you know, am I really, you know, is it really benefiting people or, um, or is it anything I'm doing? Is it even good? Because you know, every single artist I would say is is insecure. You know, uh, you know, it's just part of being an artist. You know, you're insecure about the work that you put, or you're insecure about your voice. Uh, and you know, it's these type of comments that you know, like sometimes you know, I'll, I'll I'll scroll through you know YouTube and and Instagram, and sometimes you know my DMs, and you know, it's like when people are mentioning. And I remember even at some live shows, you know, I remember some people would come just crying, and you know, and I'd just be like, you know, I, I just can't believe it. Like I'm like, you know, it's it's a song that I've made in such like, like nobody's nobody's around, just alone and in my room, and you know, by myself. And you know, when it comes out to the world, that you know, I'm just humbled that when it you know touches people, and you know, it affects them in a way where I I had I would never have imagined. You know, so I think that's just all from Allah, and you know, I'm grateful for that. Fantastic. Another a question that comes through saying, what is um, Saeed's relation to Pakistan? How can he speak <laughs> such good Urdu? So do you speak Urdu? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, and uh, yeah, because I was born in uh, I was born in Pakistan. So I was born in Lahore. Right, right. And uh, when I was about, I think about two years old, our family moved to Toronto. So and we've been pretty much a group all, all our lives uh, in Canada. Yeah. So yeah. So this is why I know Urdu. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> How do you feel now that your new album mm -hmm. journey is finally out? Yeah, that was whew, that was a big uh, <laughs> that was a big relief. That I was telling pretty much the fans and and everybody that from 2016, don't worry, I'll be put, I'll be releasing the album like in 2017. 2017 came. You know what? I'll be releasing the album in 2018. 2018 came. I'm like, no, I'll be releasing in 2019 for sure. <laughs> and then I'm just like, this year, I'm just like, okay, there's COVID. And I have no excuse, like, because normally, to be honest, every other year, it's been, we've been like almost having like traveling for shows every single month, or, and sometimes even like a few times a month. And I just never had had the chance to sit down for like, because I'm the type of person that needs to sit down for like, literally like a month or two, or sometimes even three months straight. And uh, I don't have much uh, social activities when I'm doing that. So it's just like pure like hermit mode and just in my cave and just work, work, work. And then I just needed that to just, just hammer everything out because I had these tracks from about 2016 since I've started. So some of these songs like Blessed and, um, you know, um, there's a bunch of songs, Journey, all of these songs I've had just sitting in the back burner since from 2016. And, and Alhamdulillah, you know, it was a big relief. And it was my first sort of experience releasing an album. So inshallah, definitely do plan to release on more, album, uh, more albums. And inshallah, and I hope that, you know, they'll be even better inshallah. Yeah, because I was going to ask the song back to you is actually re we released it in 2018, right? Um, but the album was released this year. Um, are yeah, the all yeah. albums on the song, uh, on the album, are they new or are they all? Sort yeah, of I, from before? I believe there's about six 
Uh, so in total, I think I, there, I, I think there's about 17 songs on the album, and I think about seven or eight of them are like brand new. So I, which I had, ne- which I had never released before. So until the uh, album was debuting, um, yeah. So pretty much like, cause all of the other songs, it's like all of these songs I've I had written, it was all from that same time, right? Some from 2016, mm. and uh, you know, I I had the chance to complete back to you. I had the chance to complete oh, all uh, the ca- chance to complete all of these, but uh, so I'm just like, you know, I need to package them as one because they were all created, you know, in that one time, you know. And how about your inspiration? Um... Are there any other Nasheed artists that you look up to? Honestly, growing up, it was um, it was like these these main. I mean, to be honest, like in the Muslim world, you know, Alhamdulillah, we um, Alhamdulillah, the Nasheed artists artists that we did have growing up, they were very good, right? Mashallah, and you know, they they really connected. But in comparison to like the mainstream world, we don't have that many artists in the Muslim world, right? We we in comparison to that, it's very few. You can probably count them on your on your hands, maybe, or you know, and, and so um, especially when growing up. So it was pretty much like like I mentioned, Zayn Bika, Daud Hornsby, Native Dean, uh, Sam Yusuf. I remember listening to Meher Zayn. Uh, who else was there? Um, hopefully, I'm not missing anybody else. But yeah, those were uh, those were the ones that I could kind of think of. Um, I'm guessing you've had a chance to perform with some of these these guys as well. Yeah, yeah, alhamdulillah. And they're uh, you know they're they're very lovely people. You know, alhamdulillah. You know, like. Uh, Zane Bika obviously you know is a big inspiration growing up and uh, I met him last year as well and you know was, uh, and you know he said a lot of good words mash- you know mashallah and and uh, I remember Maher Zane uh, actually one of my first tour uh, alhamdulillah you know I, I was able to meet all of these guys alhamdulillah and you know again they're wonderful people you know in person as well you know because sometimes you know you hear uh, you, you listen to you know you listen to these people and you don't know how they will they'll be in person and you know, uh, meeting them, you know, alhamdulillah, each one was even better than, you know, than, than I would have would expected from before. And that would warns me, of course, you know, another, you know, Canadian artist as well, you know, mashallah. So he's, he's you know, he's, he's definitely one of the most amazing people. And of course, Native Dean, I met them I, I, in the States when I was there as well. So yes, alhamdulillah, you know, all of these people are, are such amazing people. And, and this is why they have such long careers as well, you know, in, in the Muslim world. The thing is, as an artist, if you're just, uh, if, if you're, if you're, if you're not a, um, if you're not like an uh, just like a an honest, truthful, and just a, just a good person in general with good etiquettes and stuff, you won't make it in the long term. What you're saying is absolutely right. You need to be good role models as well as Nasheed artists, obviously, um, as well. So talking about your uh, future projects, then do you have anything lined up? Are you planning to come back to the UK post COVID? Do a tour? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, definitely. I, I mean, UK, is, I guess, is a place that I'll be definitely always coming to you like uh i guess for some people who don't know my my wife is actually from the uk so uh yeah so, right. she, yeah so she's from london so i was actually just in london for about two months from december to february actually and uh but just before the restrictions got crazy i'm like maybe i can't leave the country so i just, I just bolted <laughs> out of there <laughs> all right so, uh, but yeah so definitely i'll be coming to the uk uh um a lot inshallah and uh, I mean, as for upcoming projects and tracks, I mean, I'm always working on tracks. I know some people, you know, uh, like I'm sometimes I'm not good with these, you know, Instagram and socials. Like I'm not very active, but it's only because I'm working very hard behind the scenes on these on new tracks. And, you know, I might even have maybe some new Dua songs. Who knows? Right. So <laughs> inshallah, let's uh, inshallah. And uh, hopefully, you know, people, uh, uh, you know, these some of these new songs that I'm working on, they are very different. And I would say uh, unique, uh, the st- stylistically, and um, you know, to, to my previous one. So I, I, I really do hope that you know people connect with these as well. Inshallah, yeah. Inshallah, inshallah, they will. How can people get in touch with you? Is there a social media channel that you prefer over others? Yeah, I mean, the main place, um, I guess, where I'm the most active is probably YouTube and Instagram. So they can just type in Syed on YouTube, S I E D D, and or Syed official on Instagram. Um, and of course, uh, all my music is on, you know, iTunes, Spotify. So you, you can, yeah, uh, you can probably find me, you know, if you, uh, if you hopefully, inshallah, if you, if you type in, type in my name. So inshallah, I hope you guys, uh, enjoy, uh, you know, the Nishis and I hope you guys are enjoying your Ramadan and having a, you know, uh, you know, and just focusing on, you know, uh, on your faith and on, you know, uh, I guess, uh, reading, reading the Quran and focusing on understanding it inshallah. And yeah, thank you guys very much for having me. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.